Are you a software professional desperate to get your hands on the latest gizmos from Silicon Valley? Or are you an eight-year-old frantic to grab the latest CD-ROM encyclopedia on wildlife? If you are one of these guys, then there is no need to sweat. Today, the market is flooded with a variety of magazines, bringing the world of computers and information technology right into your hands. Yet another addition to this long list of well over 15 magazines is DQ Channels. A magazine exclusively for the IT channels industry was launched in the capital this week. Whether you are an industrialist planning your business strategy or a housewife preparing your monthly rations, there is a magazine catering to everyone's needs. Regardless of whether you are a doctor or a patient, magazines these days have it all. Computers today find applications in a host of different areas and the information needs of each area are extremely different. The corporate manager needs a different information. The child needs a very, very different kind of information. So that's why you have this entire range of publications, both from us and from uh, other uh, publishing houses also. The first computer and IT-based magazine to hit the stands in the country was DataQuest way back in 1982. It was then followed by Computers Today in 1985. But the trend really picked up pace much later, in the 90s, and since then has expanded at an extraordinary rate over the last five years. The publishing of such niche magazines today is a thriving, ever-expanding industry running into crows. It is just going to go on growing because it is directly linked to the number of people who are going to use computers in one form or the other. And today you have an installed base of two and a half million computers in the country. This year we are expecting another 800,000 to be sold. And this number used to be, when I started off in this industry, maybe 30,000, 20,000 each year. So it has grown from there to 800,000. And as the applications of computers increase, you are going to see them in more and more areas. The kind of sweeping changes in technology, you know? the speed, the volumes, the prices, uh, it's quite exciting and uh, so to deal with this kind of area, uh, magazines have to really race. Another trend which has further given a boost to this sector are the free gifts being offered with these magazines. Gone are the days of free pens and free diaries. On offer nowadays are attractive CD-ROMs with a range of software packages, audio and video clips of your favourite stars and games, of course. Such offers make these magazines irresistible and the buyer is the ultimate winner. It's all related to the fact that in the publishing business it's the circulation which drives the growth. And if you look at it that you have to promote the growth of computers in the country, thereby getting the growth of magazines and thereby getting advertising revenue, then the link is very obvious. I think people give uh, uh, bags and they give pens and they give all kinds of other gifts to bring in subscriptions. I think CDs is just another way. Freebies have become a feature now, um, particularly the CDs are attraction. But I suppose uh, that's natural because CD is a new medium, um, was a new medium some time ago. So it's, uh, I mean obviously the people want to cash in on that. As the market gets flooded with more and more IT-related magazines vying for the top spot and consumers make a beeline for the nearest bookstores, only time will tell if the power of the print will be able to withstand the test of time as the entire world goes digital.